Krishna. Today we are starting seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita. In this seventh chapter, we have total twenty-five shlokas. From first to third shloka, Krishna is telling that how by hearing from authentic person who is practicing Bhagavad Gita, we can gain the knowledge of it by hearing. Hearing is a very important function. That's why you can see our ears are always open. Eyes we close when we are sleeping, but still we can hear. So Shravanam is very important. There are um, Navavidha Bhakti, nine kinds of Bhakti. And these are Shravanam is the first. First you need to hear. Because without hearing, one cannot be a good speaker. It is said, like, like, right? Like, um, if you don't hear, you cannot speak. Or even a child, if he cannot hear, he cannot learn how to speak. So hearing is very important. Then Shravan, then Kirtan. Kirtan means, this is also Kirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare This is Kirtan but when you talk about Krishna to anyone that is also Kirtan so Shravanam Kirtan then once you do Shravan and Kirtan both you start remembering Krishna all the time. Gradually you can remember Lord all the time. So Smaranam is very important. By Smaranam our mind become purified. By Shravanam, Kirtanam and Smaranam. Then these, these three are very important. Archanam Vandanam. Archanam Vandanam means when we do uh, like uh, Abhishekam of Lord Krishna and uh, we chant some prayers, Vandana and then Pada Sevanam, when we offer some flowers or tulsi leaf at the lotus feet of Krishna, that is Pada Sevanam, Daisyam Saikyam Atmani Vedanam. Daisyam means when we consider that I am servant of Lord. Like Hanumanji consider himself, he is like Daisya Bhav. So we should know that that Lord is the supreme and he is the king of all kings. And Saikyam means when we consider Lord as our best friend, that is Saikyam. Atma Nivedana means when you fully surrender to Lord and you think that um, I am not alone any time, Lord is always with me. So I should surrender myself to him. So this is the importance. And first thing start with Shravanam. Then from 7th chapter 4th shloka to 12th. Sri Krishna is saying about the nature. From 13th to 19th. Sri Krishna is saying that what like one should be uh, towards Krishna or like far from Krishna, Sammukh ya Bimukh. And then 20 to 25 Krishna is talking about Devata Pujan, Dev Devata Pujan. So we are starting from Shlok number 1. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Maya Sakta Manaha Partha Yogam Yunjan Madashraya Asangshayam Samagramam Yathagasya Sitachrinu The Supreme Personality of God had said, Now hear, O son of Pritha, how by practicing yoga in full consciousness of me, with mind attached to me, you can know me in full, free from doubt. Hey Prithabudra, 
अब सुनो कि तुम किस तरह मेरी भावना से पूर्ण होकर मन को मुझ में आसक्त करके योगाभ्यास करते हुए मुझे पूर्णतया संशय रहित जान सकते हो सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट थिंग कृष्णा इज टेलिंग डेट वी शुड फिक्स आवर माइंड एट द लॉटस फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड why it is important because we are not this body we are soul and soul cannot be happy only by doing the bodily activities so one should because he is spiritual and spiritual is the nature of the soul so one should perform spiritual activities like remembering lord and one should be attached to lord for example in this material world different people are attached to a different person maybe mother maybe children maybe husband wife that's why that is called family spirit right similarly we should because we are soul we should uh, develop some attachment to lord then only we will get that spiritual happiness so uh some people they try to understand lord by their senses sight hearing taste touch smell but this is not easy because many things you cannot perceive by your senses so unless and until you are in transcendental platform one cannot see lord that's why to see lord first you need to believe and practice the things told by lord in bhagavad gita why one cannot achieve the ultimate success because senses are not complete it get illusion illusion means sometimes one may assume uh one uh, one thing like another for example regarding test if you take amla and after that if you drink water it feels sweet and uh, once you take a gulab jamun and after that if you drink a sweet uh, drink also then it will be like there is no sugar so we lose it and we make mistakes and there are cheating propensity also within human being so that's why because our senses are not complete or purna and they are un- incomplete that's why we should always um, accept a spiritual counselor with whom we can deal with the t- things because whatever problems come to us there are many factors so to uh, run in a right path we need a counselor and lord krishna and the other incarnations they have they are perfect that's why it is said god is only perfect so bhagavad gita is actually lord krishna speaking to us directly like if you read a book the author is talking to you directly he is sharing his knowledge with you so similarly lord krishna talking to us directly and that's why bhagavad gita is perfect signs there are different people like for example i will give you one example um and and this is a true story what happened uh, once uh, a person he came with a big tumor in his neck uh, like outside it's also you can see outside he came to doctor and then he admitted hosp- in hospital he was in very bad condition he was he used to read newspapers and uh, when one day he saw that the newspaper there is a advertisement that uh, some medicine have come for this treatment 
so he informed the doctor doctor said it is not yet outside it's still in lab so he told i'm a very rich person i will spend all my money for my life you please arrange that from that american lab then doctor thought that because he is thinking like this way why not i should uh, arrange the medicine and uh, um or i will tell that i have arranged i cannot arrange obviously i will tell that i i have arranged so he t he told okay i have arranged so this is the medicine he just put some simple uh, thing in his injection and he told yes i have put it in then within 15 days he saw there are very uh, like lots of difference and that people he is the man become cured and there was no tumor at all doctor was surprised how it's possible how it's possible then he went home then after some time again uh, he uh, saw that oh now american uh, like who who were the laboratory they were saying that now this medicine is not no of no use then he got the tumor again and he came back hospital and he died also so this is the proof that how mind plays with us right another example like this is also true uh, there was an invest uh, like you know experimentation experimentation one um, criminal he was punished by death sentence so he was told that uh, there was a lack of jallad so you need to we will we will give you that uh, by cobra will bite you that's it so obviously covered his eyes and then they brought just safety pin and they brought a cobra in front of him but put the safety pin inside his um, hand that he thought that now it's cobra cobra only who biting me like that and after some time he died with like his body becoming like color change little and he died and in laboratory a uh, doctor found that he generated by thinking in his mind that cobra only uh, bited me so he bit, he is bitten by cobra so he is so much stressed that he developed poison that much poison in his body he was injected on a sedative in but, but but he was so afraid that's why in india also many people die even some some snake that are not very poisonous but they die because of their mind so mind is very powerful so if it thinks positive then um, we can live a positive blissful life but if it is negative then we live a very distressful life that's why krishna is telling that you need to control your mind and devotion start with our faith faith is very important without faith no one can understand this spiritual knowledge so spiritual knowledge should be come by parampara system parampara system means it should come from krishna like uh, there are four four parampara system mentioned in padma puran one should uh, always take if one uh, wants to find spiritual guru they should find in only these four paramparas one is started from lord brahma another is lakshmi devi another is lord shiva and another is kumar sampradaya kumar sampradaya means uh, brahma's four kumar sanak sanadan sanatan sanat kumar so these four paramparas are still prevailing all over the india and outside also now because people are preaching bhakti outside like shila prabhupada so he preached all over the world hari naam so gauriya vaishnav parampara people are everywhere in this world so gauriya vaishnav parampara means who is brahma gauriya vaishnav Bra starting from brahma ji and another brahma ji starting from brahma ji that parampara's name is brahma gauriya sampradaya brahma madhva gauriya sampradaya then another starting from shri yani lakshmi so shri vaishnav sampradaya it's very prominent in south india especially and another is um, rudra sampradaya starting from lord shiva and that is um, 
also there are many people uh, of this uh, sampradaya vaishnav sampradaya and there is kumar sampradaya so kumar sampradaya is uh, like acharyas they are so it is also mentioned in our padma puran which is actually uh, more than 5000 years ago it is always mentioned that only in this puram, four parampara if you find a guru and you take um, initiation and teachings from him then only you can enter the vaikuntha jagat otherwise we, one cannot enter so this is very important system that we should have faith whatever is said by krishna and we should follow his words so uh, why many people don't believe on scriptures because there are so many people who are fake and they have given lots of commentaries and that are not convincing that's why we should find like there are uh, artificial gold is there and people are cheating in the name of gold but it doesn't mean that there there are not, no real gold so there are so many uh, fake gurus but it doesn't mean that there there are no pure gurus or spiritual gurus who are from this parampara and they are um, giving the proper knowledge to the people so we should uh, have this faith and for that we need to pray every day to lord so that i can progress in spiritual path as well material we are already progressing but material education we are already taking from college so that we can get that spiritual knowledge from the right person and so that i can uh, so that i can get the authentic guru and who can lead me to you so this way we should pray every day to lord krishna then you will see the miracle shlok number 7 mattah paratram nanyat kinchid asti dhananjaya mai sarvam idam protam Sutremani gana eva. In this shloka, Krishna is saying, I am the test, uh, is saying that there is no truth superior to me. Everything rests upon me as pearls are strung on a thread. Like a pearl, um, there is a like a, a pearl uh, necklace and thread is inside. That's why pearls are you know decorating our neck so similarly everything is related to lord everything is taking shelter of lord there are so many planets now in 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 road there are so many cars you need a traffic police traffic lights to control so there are so many planets and every planets are moving 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 who is controlling that traffic the super genius lord krishna is controlling because everything is uh, sheltered to lord and, and it is done in his control so that's why the vedic knowledge 5000 years ago only byas deva put it in written form right but before that also sanatan dharma means eternal the vedic knowledge was always there but shruti by listening guru tell the disciple listen and he remember memory power was so much in previous yuga not in kali yuga and that's why there was no need of writing these vedas upanishads puranas bhagavatam bhagavad gita everyone can remember just by hearing because kali yuga people cannot remember and that is seen by vyasa deva so vyasa deva is also an incarnation of lord krishna sahityik or literary incarnation so he came to give us in written form all the scriptures so that we can read and understand but main thing is even we can read and understand and that scripture also that bhagavad gita also if you just take it and read you cannot understand much but if you, you hear from a person who have already heard from uh, some authentic personality and understood and then you can easily understand the thing So that's why um, if we want to see God, we need to hear Bhagavad Gita. So everyone is trying to see Bhagwan, God, 
but we should not try that we should try to work in such a way that is mentioned in bhagavad gita and lord lord will be so pleased and he will give his direction he will arrange our life such a way that this life will be the last birth in this material world so that's why we should focus on our spiritual duty shloka number 4 here it is said that bhumira pona loba yuh kham mano buddhi reva cha ahankara iti yamme bhinna prakriti rastadha so there are uh, now krishna is telling about nature prakriti means nature so um, eight things like uh, pancha mahabhut prithvi jal agni vayu akash uh, earth water fire air and ether plus mind intelligence and ego there are eight types of apara nature apara nature means para means spiritual apara means material so material nature and then 7.5 shloka krishna says that other than these eight apara nature i have a para shakti para nature spiritual nature and that is uh, that is antaranga shakti of the lord so there are shakti so um shakti man who is shakti man lord krishna is a shakti man because shakti needs a shelter like sun uh, from sun rays are coming because sun is there that's why rays are coming similarly the shakti man or the person is dear so energy is coming from him that's why krishna also says in one shloka that uh, i am the taste of water the light of sun and moon and the syllable om in the vedic mantras i am the sound in the ether so krishna is telling that we think now uh, water is tasteless no water is not tasteless if it is tasteless you cannot drink it that's why we always search oh mitha pani mitha pani like that means it should have some good taste so lord krishna is the taste so how we can remember lord even in water when we are drinking we should be thankful thank krishna you are in here that's why i am able to drink this water the light lights of sun that is also because of lord because sun light is coming from the brahma jyoti brahma jyoti is the illumination coming from lord krishna's body and the um, men are very you know some some men are very powerful and they are like um, can do many things and from whom he is getting the power from lord only and sound as well lord krishna said in 19 shloka bahu naam janma namante gyanavan mam prapadyate vasudeva sarbamiti samahatma sudurlabah so here uh, krishna is telling a very you know very important secret thing after many births and deaths he who is actually in knowledge surrender unto me knowing me to be the cause of all causes and all death is such a great soul is very so uh, there are lots of birth and death and it will be continued but we get human body after lots of birth so it's very precious we cannot waste our time human life time is very important you know the yam dutas yam dutas don't come for animals if animal dies yam duta will not take them to hell yam dutas come only for yam duta yam raja sent his you know uh, dutas so only come for the people who are uh, not worshiping lord and somehow if you are not worshiping lord because you have given this body to know god and go back to god head that is your original home and if we don't do this then yamaduta will come so that's why 
uh, uh, animals are not under the territory of uh, Yamraj. Human beings are. Because human beings body is karma sharir. Karma sharir means you need to work. Animal body is bhog sharir. Bhog sharir means they have already worked as a human being. And because of their karma now they are in that body, particular body. And if you go because of your pious work to heaven, there is Deva Sharir. Deva Sharir. There, in Deva Sharir, there is no uh, smell, bad smelling or stool or like that. It's a good body. You can enjoy it thousand and thousand years. But the best body is when you get the spiritual body, your original body at the uh, Baikuntha Jagat, Golagdham. So that's why it is very rare that we get a human body and once we get human body we should utilize to know about the spiritual things, to know about God and to practice spirituality and by this way we can get rid of, uh, uh, get rid of birth, repeated death and birth. And Krishna also says that those people who come to me they are very rare and they are Mahatma. Mahatma means they are very great souls. Also Krishna says in 15th shloka, Namam duskriti no mudha prapadyante na radha maha mayaya aparhita jnana asuram bhava mashrita Those people, those miscreants who are grossly foolish, who are lowest among mankind, whose knowledge is stolen by illusion and who partake of the atheistic nature of demons do not surrender unto me. So there are people who don't want to surrender to Krishna at all. So in this shloka, Lord is telling about them. Four kinds of people who are foolish, totally foolish and lower in mankind. And Mayaya Aparhita Jnana, their intelligence is taken away due to the material uh, attachment. And Asuram Bhava Mashrita, like if you are doing Bhakti, then they will fight with you. What will happen with Bhakti? Why you are doing this? This is a waste of time like that. So they are Asuram Bhava Mashrita, demoniac people. So if you have no time for Bhakti, then... Um, you are more busy than required. Right? We have to balance between spiritual life and material life. And that's why we should put some time out. Like how we can cut the time? Not seeing um, lots of movies. Then we can save the time. right? Or uh, wasting talking with the people who are not giving you any positive you know, thoughts or like that. So these kind of activities we can minus and can cut. I can utilize it to practice bhakti like chanting Harinam and reading Bhagavad Gita. So we need to find out that my nature is what? It's a demigod nature or demoniac nature. We, then we, we need to develop the demigod nature. So four people come to Lord Krishna. They are... Chaturvidha bhajante maam, 16th shloka. Janaha sukritu anarjuna. Chaturvidha bhajante maam, janaha sukriti norjuna. Artu jigyasur artharthi jnani cha bharatarshava. Art, art means who are very sad in distressful condition. They will come to me and they are actually lucky people. Because might be they got some distress due to previous karma, but they are not going to someone else. They are going to Lord Krishna. So they are very fortunate people. Some people come to Krishna out of some curiosity. Who is God? And uh, why people are suffering? Why some people are very rich, some are very poor? So they ask questions and they get attached to Lord. Artharthi means... I will worship Krishna and I will get some money. I will earn lots of money. For that also if someone come to Krishna, then they are very fortunate. Yes. So uh, Lord Krishna become happy when by any means someone come to his um, bhakti. Then another way is Jnani because he know, he, he read Bhagavad Gita and he know that's why he is coming to Krishna. 
so among all these who is a distressful condition who wants some money and who have some curiosity and who is knowledgeable the knowledgeable one who come due to knowledge is uh, considered as the best next shlokas we are reading 20 to 25 Krishna is telling about demigods who go to who go for demigod worship. Twenty, shlok number twenty. Kame ste ste rita jnana ha prapadyante anna devata ha tam tam niyamam asthaya prakritya niyata ha swaya. Jin ki buddhi bhautik ichchau dwara mari gayi hai. Those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires, we devtao ki sharan mein jate hai. Surrender unto demigods. Aur we apne apne swabhav ke anusar puja ke vishesh vidhi vidhano ka palan karte hai. And follow the particular rules and regulations of worship according to their own natures. So Krishna is telling that those people, actually uh, demigods also give um, any boons only by the uh, power, energy and blessings of Lord Krishna. But if someone is not worshipping Krishna, they are just worshipping demigods, it means they, they have lots of material desires and they think that Krishna is not Krishna will not fulfill that. See, I will give an example of a small child. Small child, he is, uh, he is having tonsil and he is suffering from tonsil and fever etc and he saw ice cream parlor and he is crying in front of father give me one ice cream give me one ice cream then father will tell first you recover then i will bring ice cream for you now you are in pathetic condition if you take ice cream then you, it will be painful for you but the child is crying 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 and uh, he is not listening to father then then also father will not give him ice cream. He might cry a lot. But for example, child is having 100 rupees. And he goes to the ice cream parlor. And asking the shopkeeper, please give me ice cream. The shopkeeper is not going to ask him, are you sick? Are you having a, a tonsil? Or are you suffering from fever? No, not at all. So shopkeepers are compared to the demigods because it's their dharma. If somebody is giving money, shopkeeper will give him ice cream. So, uh, similarly, if we follow some rules, rituals, then demigods gives us the thing, but it may bound us more, like child will suffer more if we eat that ice cream. So, similarly, it will bound us more if we ask something from demigods and this is not good for us. But if we ask same thing from Krishna, then if it is not good for us, Krishna will not give us. So that's why bolte hai na ki man ka ho to achcha hai, man ka nahi ho to aur achcha hai. Iska matlab, there, there are some interference from Lord. So that's why those people, Krishna says, whose uh, intelligence is taken away or stolen by material desires, they worship demigods. 23 shloka, Krishna is telling, Anta bhattu phalam te sham, tad bhavatyal pamedha sam, devan deva yajo yanti, mad bhakta yanti mamapi. Those people, here, here it is mentioned in 23, men of small intelligence, alpa buddhi wale, worship the demigods. Man with small intelligence worship the demigods mean devtao ki puja karte hai. And their fruits are limited and temporary because they might get something but they will lose it with death or before death. Those who worship the demigods go to the planets of demigods and that is Swargaloka or heaven. But my devotees ultimately reach my supreme planet and after reaching supreme planet no need to take birth again and again. So that's why we should worship direct. To Lord Krishna and sometimes we become uh, very very uh, you know afraid but actually when we start worshipping Krishna demigods become very very happy and uh, they also bless us for that.
because they are also devotee of Lord Krishna. Okay, this I'm very sorry. This chapter is uh, having thirty total thirty shlokas, not uh, twenty five. So twenty seven shloka we are reading now. Icha dvesha samutthe na dvanda mohe na Bharata sarva bhutani samoham sargeyanti parantapa. It means. All living entities are born into delusion, bewildered by dualities arising from desire and hate. So there are two, always there will be two things. Like either they will love or they will hate. This material world is full of two things. Day, night, happiness, distress, hatred, or uh, loving like that. So this way they become bound. Look number 28, it is said, persons who have acted previously, sorry, person who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life and whose sinful actions are completely eradicated are freed from dualities of delusion and engage themselves in my service with determination. So, yesha tattva gatam papam jananam punya karmanam. If you are coming for bhakti or if you are listening Bhagavad Gita that means it is a proof that you are not ordinary soul because otherwise there are so many things in YouTube and social media but if some people still listening Bhagavad Gita some students they are not ordinary souls and they are the Punyatma Punyatma means pious souls and that's why this, in this part they are attracted towards Bhagavad Gita and those people can only be freed from the all material desires and all the dualities and they will um, start serving Lord Krishna and they can go back to Golak Dham or Vaikuntha Jagat. So this is the essence of 7th chapter. Thank you very much for listening. Hare Krishna.